It's 10.30 Sunday morning and I am on my way to pick up Spencer. He's going to be my companion on this journey to Rochester. He has nothing to do with the audition whatsoever. Um, he's just uh, coming with because uh, I don't want to be bored. And I promised him pizza and uh, that seemed to do the trick. So. Uh, about an hour or so, we'll be at his house, and then the real adventure begins. They say love is cool, and I believe them. My heart's always broken, cause the men in my life keep getting killed by Kandarian demons. <laughs> Why? I don't know. Okay, I just want to point out, just as I drove by this church here, uh, the Phantasm theme started playing on my mix CD, which is awesome. If you haven't seen Phantasm, shame on you. Hey look, it's Spencer! I got a Spencer, and we're gonna have so much fun going to Rochester. It's 11.30 now, this thing says we're gonna be there at 5.30, but we gotta stop for gas and snacks and stuff, so uh, maybe we'll be there at 6, I don't know. So here we go! Yay. Yep, we're at Blandford! Alright, so I'm gonna tell you what just happened because we couldn't film it as it was happening uh, for obvious reasons, but Spencer and I just pulled over into, I think it was Albany, um, to get a sandwich from Subway from one of the most competent Subway uh, employees probably on the planet. But anyway, we got our sandwiches and ate them in the car, and uh, then we were making our way out to go back into the main highway as we now are on. Um, and we're at some weird, screwy, like, four or five way intersection, and I wasn't quite sure what way to go, so I hesitated a little, and then I was like, oh, I gotta go left, which is what my GPS told me. And we're just about to go on the highway, and all of a sudden I get pulled over. And the guy asked for my license and registration, like usual, and then he says, can you step out of the car, please? And I'm like, what the heck? And then he tells Spencer, can you put your hands on the dashboard? And I'm like, what does this guy think we've done or have? And so we go back to like the back of my car, to like the trunk, and he goes, do you have any marijuana on you? And I'm like, what? No! And he's like, well, uh, I saw that you have some brown and green crumbs on you, and I looked down at my pants, and I just ate a sandwich, so I'm like a mess, and I immediately say, no, I just ate a sandwich. And he like pats me down, and tells me that I went through a stop sign that neither Spencer or I saw. Um, but anyway, we didn't see the stop sign, so we're sitting in our car forever, and finally he gives us, um, gives me, I guess, a little thing where I can say either I'm guilty or not, and then mail it in. I don't know, apparently in Massachusetts it's not even gonna show up on my insurance or anything, it only shows up in New York. So yeah, and this is my first traffic violation. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> and I'm I'm uh, I'm a pothead who is very very messy. I'm very messy when I roll joints in my car and I get it all over my pants. Cuz it's hard to roll a joint and drive. It is. Okay, so 6 hours 45 minutes of driving and one marijuana bust later, we're here in our hotel room. Yay! This is awesome. We just had pizza, which was delicious, and uh, there's just everything you could ever want here. Um, here's a desk, and here is some chocolates that we got on our bed, and an alarm clock, and this is my bed that Spencer's on, and that chair over there is Spencer's bed, and uh, there's a TV. And it only gets a couple of channels, but it has a uh, VCR in it. And there's like all these old movies like Casablanca and stuff. And uh, that's cool. And there's a chair. And there's, there's Trivial Pursuit cards here. And uh, there's like all sorts of magazines. And Spencer's reading one because he didn't know they had Wi-Fi. But I did, so I brought my laptop, so I'm much less bored. And uh, there's a... 
flashlight for some reason. <laughs> and some more magazines. And uh, there's a jar of pretzels and three different kinds of glasses and a corkscrew in case we want to have some wine, which we don't. Right, so Spencer and I had the best breakfast in the world and we went to a candy store and now we continue our gay honeymoon at a waterfall. Look at it go. We found Seth Green's house. And possibly Edward Norton's house as well. <laughs> so uh, Spencer and I typed attractions into the GPS and uh, we, uh, we found that there's a zoo and we had an hour to spare and it's pretty cheap. So here we are at the zoo. It thinks it's hiding. <laughs> Let this be a lesson to our world's leaders. An American eagle and Canadian geese living together in harmony. Makes you think, doesn't it? No, I need you to stand near it for scale. Otherwise, no one will know how big oh, it is. I didn't is. realize it was in the shop. Big snake. Big yellow snake. It's Tobias. What's it looking for? Maybe it buried something. That polar bear is eating, mommy. What do polar bears eat? Oh, they eat, mommy. Oh, they eat? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is that pretty? Oh, that's nice. Thank you. <laughs> See yours? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> These wolves are eyeing the children hungrily. <laughs> Just so you know, here are the wolves. Here's a railing. And there's children. These are the bravest birds in the whole zoo. Just hopping around the leopard. Welcome to the spooky animal hospital, where a bear operates on a skeleton. And there's a cat on a stool with a broken head. Ooh. And the biggest disappointment here is that the wallaby is nowhere to be found. Look how sad Spencer is. Yeah, so we're on our way home now. Um, it's dark, but uh, we're getting there. Um, I had a good trip. I had a really good breakfast, saw some good sights, and uh, it was a nice day in Rochester. Uh, hey, Max, weren't you supposed to audition for something? Ah, oh, fuck! Wonderful feeling, feeling this way.